for those of you who are wondering how fast Beth can get ready, here it goes. Now, I'm going to check the clock. Here it go. Right, the first thing that I want to do is tell you, God bless you for being able to handle seeing me with no makeup on. But I'm going to do everything right in front of you. So here it goes. We're going to start with, here's some nice brushes. We're going to start with serum. And some people say, is serum necessary? Absolutely not, if you don't really care if you age or not. But, I mean, if you do care about aging, then serum helps. What's it got in it? All kinds of barnacles and goodlies. This one is Sublimage Essence. You guys, this has got so much good stuff, but it's about 200 bucks. Complete with re revitalizing concentrate with light activation. Skin is softer, smoother, and more radiant. I want more pros promises than that, Chanel. I want to know that you're going to give me the best smell I ever smelled. And Chanel always comes through, don't they? Okay, so I put a lot. That's like six squirts. <laughs> For such an expensive product, it shouldn't take that. But I just love the smell. And this isn't a lotion. It's not a moisturizer. It's a serum. So you cover your whole face with it any place where there's wrinkles, any place where there's not. And, oh my gosh, it smells good. It smells like honeysuckle to me, to be honest with you. Anyway, I do everywhere with the serum. Okay, even down my neck. And onto my decolletage. Not too far down. After all, we are filming. Okay. So, next. So, after we put on serum, let it dry for just a second. That's all. Um, then I do my ultra correction line repair. And that is an anti-weekle. It's an anti-weekle cream. So, you want weekle. <laughs> and Bree's going to say hello because I can't reach the ball. There, I did the best I could. Anyway, I only put one tiny squirt of this. This is very expensive as well. I think this is 80 bucks for this. But this has lasted me like a year, y'all. So, anyway. So, there's a little dog hair. There's dog hairs all over in my life. Anyway. So, I put those two little fingers together. Make sure I get about the same on each one. Don't lose any of this precious stuff. Yeah. And then I go under the eyes. Now, don't get too close up because I, I fear that may have something to do with my eye irritation. Maybe, maybe not. But kind of stay right here on this bone and then just kind of smooth it up. Certainly to your crow's feet. And it will work its way up. It, um, lotions bleed up towards your eyes during the day. I use any leftover for this wrinkling in between my eyebrows and on my forehead. And then I go back and kind of pat this in. Why? They say it brings um, circulation um, the blood to the surface when you pat it like this. I'm not hitting it that hard, but then I do have some more product left on my fingers. And so I put that on my mouth so I don't have mouth wrinkles. Anyway, will it take care of everything? Pfft, no. But, hey, it's a good try. Uh, it's an expensive try, but I feel like a couple of reasons why I use this. This is now the Le Lift Cream Riche. The reason that I use um, Chanel products is because they're absorbent. They, um, I do my finger in backwards to make it a paddle and it doesn't get under my nail and it just scoops out the product so it doesn't, there's not like a whole lot of contact and I'm the only one that uses this. Um, I put it on my middle finger and then I kind of transfer it to all three fingers and then transfer it together. And the reason it's so important to do this and to, to move it around is to get that, uh, the emollients emulsified, emollients emulsified. And then it goes further, too. But it warms it. It just it does make for a better situation as far as spreading it and kind of working the product to where it needs to be in consistency. And it gets the best coverage. And supposedly, it, it the warming effect of it, that's why they tell you to do that, um, really does make a difference. And then, again, my leftover, I don't ever wipe on a towel. This is way too expensive for that. Um, I always wipe it on my neck or the back of my hands. Make sure I got everywhere. Now, here's the good thing about this product. It's not sticky at all. And I've used a lot of really expensive stuff, y'all, but it is sticky. Um, <laughs> I didn't say good morning. How are you doing? Want to slurp some coffee with me? I may. I don't know if I have time, but I may. 
try to do this. Urban Decay half lashes. I don't know. Partial false lashes in the Insta Lash. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I can do it or if I have time. All right, so I'm trying a new foundation today. And it is, sorry, my nose is running, so I'm going to have to um, take care of that. Right on camera. Everything right on camera. Okay, so I'm going to try this product that I hauled yesterday, and it is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup with Peptide Infused Light Diffusing Paraben Free in color shade 1.0. Y'all, I saw the girl who ran the register in the store. This is what sold me on this. And I looked at her face. Now, keep in mind, she was like 10. And um, pages and pages of how to apply this in Chinese. I know. That, that doesn't, that's probably not a good sign that this is real. I don't know. Anyway, I always shake it up real good. You should always shake up your foundation good because, let's face it, it's like any paint. <laughs> it's face paint. It separates. I have no idea when this uh, video will switch over, but I don't care. I'm just going to keep going until my face is done. So what do I do? I put it directly on my brush. I don't bother with the back of my hand where it will not be used. I just make sure that I apply what I put on my brush quickly. Um, and this is a pretty dense brush, so I don't think a lot of it goes down in it, but sometimes I'll even hold the top to make sure it doesn't. I'm gonna start with one squirt. Of course, it, it's gotta be primed, there it goes. So, okay, so one good squirt. And I usually start with the top of the cheeks and then work down, because you definitely, especially when you get older, this area back here gets age spots and, um, but when you're younger, you, you have this, a similar problem either with acne or with, you know, just discoloration. Brie is talking to me. Can y'all hear that? Okay, so I'm not positive this is a color match, but I'm going with it. That one squirt only did one side of my face. Usually one squirt. In all fairness, I usually do two, so, with my Chanel. So, let me be fair. Let me be fair. This looks like really good coverage, you guys. Um... Of course, I can't see what this looks like on film, so we don't know what it looks like on film, which is what you are. You are on film right now. You are on fleek on film. Okay, so I'll go straight up and down. Then I'll go back and forth, and I start swirling it just to mess up any lines that may have gotten involved when I was doing it in lines. And I am doing my nose. I don't feel like I got enough, you guys, so that's two. And I'll take it up to the forehead, which not a lot shows on me, so I'm coming down to the nose mostly, which does. I like to have good coverage on my nose. And again, I'm going to swirl it out to the edges. Swirl it out to the edges. All the way to the ears. I'm just making sure again. Brie, honey. Okay, so how do I feel about this coverage? I don't know. But you're supposed to, afterwards, you're supposed to set it with the powder. Ever? To always do the long jaw. Long jaw! To get rid of that line. And then go ahead and go down your neck. And just blend out what color you have. All the way back under your ears and down your neck. And if it's a good blend of color, it really and truly should um, blend without there being an extreme harsh line anyway. If you've, if, if you've got a huge difference, you've either got a tan or um, you've got the wrong color. <laughs> Again, sorry, my nose is just dripping just a little bit. So forgive me. So we, we're done with that. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep the box because the good thing about Ulta is if you do not like the product, you can bring it back even if it's been opened. And um, Alright, so then there was another product I got. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh, don't tell me I don't have it handy. I have have it handy. Brie, honey. Okay, I don't see it. That really stinks. Because I paid for it. What'd I do with it? No, I don't see it. Okay, because that was a product that I wanted to really test out with you guys. And that was the, um, I guess I threw it in my drawer. Anyway, it was a, um, this is a shadow primer that I'm fixing to use, but the other one was a primer that doubled, I feel, as a concealer. All right, this shadow primer looks really stiff. This is Smashbox 24 uh, primer, and it came with the palette I'm going to use today, which is the Smashbox Full Exposure. So I am going to, you saw I just put a little on. I will tell you, this is going a long way. My gosh, I feel like I have way too much, actually. So we'll see how this goes. 
And sometimes it is a good thing to put your primer on under your eye bags before you know that I do wipe off on my towel before you put on your concealer because it will help your concealer to stay all day. Or that's the premise I'm going on. <laughs> so I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Color Number Light Pale, which is not a number. And if you clickety clicks and we're under the eye, I'll go past the eye up to the crow's feet. Yes, because I want to shine. And then I do come down beside the nose and then kind of edge it back out. And I do go down the nose, over the lip, right here, and right here. Sometimes I'll go there. I don't know that I'm going to do that today because it's so feel like it. Okay, I need to spread that out. Oh, did I bring it? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Hmm. Well, I can just use my makeup brush for this. It's okay. Because I like to kind of pat this out. Kind of blend it, pat it. So I can use this. Just quick pat, quick pat, quick pat, right under the nose. And blend out right where I put it. Just pat it. You can swirl it or you can pat it. Whatever you want to do is fine with you. Because it's you. And it's what you want to do. <laughs> Again, I'm just kind of making sure the color fades out onto the cheek and the head. Just patting it in does that. That's why I think a lot of people have such, such success with damn beauty blenders. It's the same concept. So now, I'm going to try the Naked Light Powder. I want to tell you guys that the concealer really was incredible. And, um, ooh, wow. They do not really have a... Hmm. I'm going to use a um, cheek highlighter brush for this, guys, because I feel like this is a little too heavy. Okay. Let me tap some of that off. And I'm 